everyone and welcome to Bayview. I'm Tara Respondi, Bayview's principal. Bayview is a place where kids come first. Here at Bayview in fifth grade, we provide learning experiences that allow student-directed learning. One method that we use is Google Classroom, where we post assignments and provide resources for students to do their work on their own time. For example, if we're doing a research project, the timeline, the due dates for each section of the research project are posted, and students are allowed to read the directions, the requirements, and given class time to work on those parts of the, pro the project or assignment. Um, they are given guidelines as to how long each section should take and students work at their own pace but they're able to learn essential time management skills. Here at Bayview I'm in and out of classrooms every day and I see the different ways technology makes learning more accessible to our students. When I work one-on-one -on -one with a student I'm able to make the curriculum accessible to all our students through different tools and technology. Um, Google Docs provides speech to text and text to speech and many different ways I'm able to have my students' voices heard and get their ideas down on paper. I love using Google Drive, especially since almost all the school uses it. It impacts on your spelling skills with spell check and almost anyone can access it, as long as you have a Chromebook. In my opinion, I think Google Drive excels levels of writing digitally. We did lots of projects on docs and slides. We did memoirs recently, and a little while ago, we did choose your own adventure stories. I think Google Drive is an impactful tool. I also run Baby's Tech Club, and in Tech Club, our fourth and fifth graders use coding to create projects and inventions. They learn to problem solve, communicate, and share their ideas. Our students are creative and inspiring, and with student-driven learning and authentic choice, our students are engaged and passionate about their own learning. We chose this project because we thought it would be cool to make a magic eight ball because who wouldn't want to see like what their dreams and like we want would turn out to be and what, what a magic eight ball's opinion would be. Yeah. The way we made this project was we programmed the micro bit to say yes, no, maybe, or in your dreams. We created a variable called answer that we put the yes, no, maybe, and in your dreams text on under. Becoming future ready ensures that our students have all the tools necessary to not just survive, but thrive in a globalized society. I believe future ready allows for personalized learning opportunities for our children. Whether it be artistic, 
humanitarian or technology based, our children are given the opportunity to show their passion. When I look at hashtag MTPS Pride, um, I see the kind of future my children can have. It just makes me excited to support Dr. George in his effort to focus not only on what we've achieved thus far with the Future Ready uh, Schools New Jersey, but what we can achieve in the future. How can we get better? How can we do even more? And I'm excited about that. When I think about Future Ready New Jersey, I think about collaboration. First, the collaboration within our own district and the shared vision. I think about what we've done here in Middletown to ensure that we have teacher leadership as part of this process, which allows us the opportunity to maximize that vision and get to more consistent implementation of the frameworks. The second piece for me is about collaboration with other districts across New Jersey and broader. We have had the opportunity to sit with other districts across New Jersey and to do presentations and learn with other districts about how they're implementing the frameworks for Future Ready, working diligently to get to student-directed learning, personalized learning, taking an individualized approach which really celebrates student interest and ties that back to the frameworks. That's deeper understanding for me.